had a really rough night and this holds the key to you making every day a blessed day let me explain last night included three things which i'll share with you i tried to make sure i'm hydrated every day by drinking at least two liters of water last night this resulted in three trips to the bathroom but the night got even rougher my daughter anna came into our room based on bad dreams that she had not once but two times and a couple of times our youngest daughter hannah woke up crying for milk which i guess is expected right my wife emma normally handles this without me even knowing so i'm taking this opportunity right now to tell you publicly babe i love you but back to the point it was a rough night on one of the bathroom trips pretty much around 4 a.m i checked my phone and knew i was going to look back in two or so hours and wonder how i just watched so many videos there have been times on occasion i wake up during the night and instead of going back to sleep i'll look on my phone I'll scroll through YouTube and 20 videos later, hours later, I watch videos through the night. It's now getting close to time for me to ultimately get up and wake up, but now I'm feeling tired and want to go back to sleep. Even if I've spent the time watching beneficial videos for ministry purposes, I end up waking up late, starting work later in the day, and it normally ruins my day from a productivity standpoint. And I'm not trying to be a vampire, right? So this early morning at 4 a.m., having seen all of this scenario play before my eyes, again, I did something based on wisdom. Something I've done in the past to prevent me from falling into this same trap. So I went into my bag and did something. Something I don't need to do often, but I know it can be extremely effective. Instead of watching something for hours and ultimately stopping my day from being as productive as it could be, I played some instrumental Christian music. I laid back down and went to sleep. Shout out to Dappy Tiki's that early morning. I leave it playing in the background and ultimately I close my eyes and don't allow myself to fall into that trap. About two hours later, I was ready. My body was ready. My mind was ready to start my routine. There are times I wake up at 4 a.m. and my body's ready and my mind is ready. And on those occasions, on those days, I get up, but not after this rough night. I normally start my day with my Bible reading and prayer. But after praying and reaching for my Bible, I thought about some of the things which interrupted my sleep last night. It was a rough night. I could feel the energy leaving my body. I could feel the feeling of, you have a reason to be less than you are today. But before I allowed myself to head down that corridor of negativity, and woe is me. I did something I've learned to do even more so this year, which has been a great blessing to me. And this is how you make every day a blessed day in your life. I said the following words. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to wake up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the strength and the ability to walk to the bathroom and go to the toilet three times last night. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings these things allowed me to see. I spoke of the blessings, positives these situations presented instead of focusing on the negative situations, which would take me down a completely different path of the day. Those feelings of woe is me quickly turned into, wow, you have the blessing of working legs to get up and walk around even when you're tired is wrong. Some people would love to have working legs. You have beautiful young daughters who are healthy and have a mom willing and happy to feed them spiritually and also physically, obviously, right? Some parents would love just one child. My perspective changed and I felt empowered when I started thinking about the blessings I had and not what would make me stay in a weak position. And this was when I reached for my phone and I started to jot this down because I did not want to lose this opportunity to share this fresh experience with you and be a blessing to you before it became something I just wasted due to other distractions and life getting in the way. Let me go and read and maybe I'll be back in a little bit. This is how I've allowed myself to mess up my days in the past but no more and if you want to see how the devil is destroying millions of christians on a daily basis the letter in this video explains it all god bless see you soon